Well, here we are, Monday evening, um, May 8th, 2017, I think. Um, sun's going down, it might be about 8 o'clock, and we've got the moon out there. Now, on this monitor, I can't see Jupiter, but it's probably out there. I just can't see it. <laughs> but there it is against the blue sky. I'm not fighting the uh, clouds today, though I'm sure there's stuff up there raining down. Get our question mark, or uh, I'm a little bit too far. Okay. There we go. Get our beam of light, our question mark. I see some writing, scorch marks, all kinds of stuff up there. <laughs> he knows what's going on. So let's go out a little bit and I don't see a cloud in the sky anywhere 360 degrees it's an odd day apparently the Schumann residence today hit 120 broke a new record so it's been one of those kind of days. So, unable to catch uh, planes. <laughs> if you're lucky to see one, there's no trail. There's no contrail, chemtrail, whatever trail. It's very interesting. So, did we slip into another place? Another similar Earth? With just slight differences that it's hard to notice? Anything's possible. Ah, it's Monday evening. We have Jupiter higher up tonight than the Moon. The Moon's about 95%. It's about 8.30 or so in the evening. So let's go up to Jupiter. It looked like the three moons were... No, I don't know if it's picking it up. I saw them on the, uh, say, 2 o'clock position or 3 o'clock position of uh, Jupiter. There they are. I can't see the fourth one, which is probably Callisto. <laughs> it's a pretty good shot. It's in a blue sky, no clouds out. I see Callisto. It's coming. It's on the opposite side. Another quick look as, a, as it continues. It's in the um, south, southeast sky now. They rose in the uh, southeast, northeast Ohio. We'll wait till Callisto gets up here. We'll run over to the moon real quick. There she is. So. There we go. See the blue sky. There's the moon. The moon's bright white again, 
And once again, I don't think the uh, camera is picking up just how white it is. Though I did put it on moon mode. It seems to catch it better. Okay, get our question mark, our uh, light beam, <laughs> and the letters over there, which has probably always been there, but I just observed them, or I don't know, <laughs> hard to say, alright, it's about 95% illuminated, <clears throat> doesn't seem to be rising as fast as it had, what was it, last month or the month before? I mean, nothing was booking. It's normally up and out of frame by now. Normally. What's normal? <laughs> so, come on, bottom. You're almost there. So, if it's 95% tonight, it's going to be close to full moon tomorrow, and the next couple days after that. So, there we go. Jupiter on the moon on Monday night. Clear skies to you. Bye now. Just a little add-on. I put it on manual mode to see if uh, it comes in any better. Of uh, Jupiter. Three of its moons on the uh, one side and Callisto's in the rear. I can't quite make Callisto out. There it is, I think. Yeah. There we go. So Jupiter's ahead of the moon. It's getting further away. And there they are. Alrighty. Sorry about that, I had zeroed in on Spica, which is <clears throat> below Jupiter, and to the right of the moon. So, we'll see it this way. So you can see the moon, and that's where Spica is. And there's Jupiter. So, okay. <laughs> Bye. Wow, that halo is something.